Diagnosing congenital hyperinsulism begins with a blood sample that reveals the presence of insulin during hypoglycemia, which is when blood glucose is low. If low blood glucose levels persist, another blood sample may be taken to look for mutations or faults in genes associated with CHI. The search for faulty genes is called genetic testing and plays an important role in determining whether or not a patient unresponsive to drugs should undergo surgery to remove either a small part of or nearly all of their pancreas. The amount of pancreas removed by surgery depends on the type of CHI. Therefore, doctors must be able to distinguish between diffuse CHI, a condition in which beta cells in the entire pancreas are affected, and focal CHI, where only one area of beta cells, called a focus, is affected. Sometimes this distinction can be made via genetic testing alone. For example, if genetic testing reveals that both copies of a patient's ABCC8 or KCNJ11 genes are faulty, it suggests they have the diffuse form of the disease. Whereas, if a patient is suspected to have focal CHI because only one copy of the gene is faulty, an 18F DOPA PET CT scan is performed to confirm this and identify exactly where in the pancreas the excess insulin is being made. If you would like any more information on the genetics of CHI, please watch video 1, an introduction to the genetics of congenital hyperinsulism, and video 2, focal congenital hyperinsulism. After injecting the patient with a specially made radioactive compound called 18F-DOPA, the PET-CT scan can produce 3D images of the pancreas. In patients with focal CHI, the 18F-DOPA collects within the beta cells that produce too much insulin. When looking at the PET-CT images, this affected area appears as a bright spot in the pancreas. In addition to confirming focal CHI, the scan can tell us where the focus lies in the pancreas and if it is near to important structures. Many patients respond well to medication. However, if medication cannot safely stabilise blood glucose levels, surgery may be the only other option to prevent hypoglycemia. Surgery for diffuse CHI involves removing nearly the whole pancreas leaving just a small portion behind. In contrast, surgery for focal CHI only involves removing just the focus, leaving the rest of the pancreas in place. If surgery manages to successfully remove the entire focus, the patient could be completely cured. Surgery of the pancreas is made difficult by its position in the body and by its proximity to other important structures. For example, in some patients with focal CHI, the focus is too close to the bile duct, which is a tube that drains digestive juices from the liver to the gut. In such cases, focal CHI may have to be medically managed instead. In diffuse CHI, removing most of the pancreas can cause problems in later life, such as an increased risk of diabetes. Sometimes, even after surgery, children may still be at risk of hypoglycemia, although usually episodes are milder and more easily manageable than before. Thank you for listening. If you would like any further information or support, please contact your local CHI service.